Welcome, everyone. My name is Colette Fagan, and as the Vice President for Research, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. In particular, I would like to welcome our graduates, whose magnificent achievements and hard work we are here to celebrate today. And we are delighted to see so many family and friends here. We thank you for the support and encouragement you have given to our graduates during their studies, which has been so important to their success. You are, no doubt, very proud of what they have achieved, as are their tutors and other members of staff in their school and faculty. Today marks a momentous milestone on a road that began many years ago. When those of you graduating today decided to study at the University of Manchester, you chose to make a major investment in your future, not just a financial one, an investment that began to pay dividends almost as soon as you arrived. During your course of your studies, you will have gained the skills and knowledge, and I hope some wisdom, to help you find success in future years. You may be glad to see the back of your assignments for now, but the planning, the research, the presentation and written skills that you have developed will be of great value in the world of work or further study. The way you have learned to balance commitments to academic life with other interests and the many competing distractions this great city of Manchester offers will help you to find a work-life balance as your career and your future unfolds. And of course, we must not forget the strong support of friendships and relationships that you have forged here, which I hope will sustain you for many years to come. Put simply, your achievement in completing your degree cannot be overestimated for its value and the strong platform it gives you to build your career and achieve your goals. Manchester is already one of the finest universities in Europe, but we are determined to become one of the best in the world, and you can help us. With 173 nationalities on campus, the University of Manchester is already a truly global institution, and one which will remain so, valuing its European and international staff, students and alumni. Now, our ambitious plans include a major investment in buildings, infrastructure and facilities, and a commitment to the higher standards of research and scholarship. But it isn't the bricks, the mortar, the wires, technology, equipment, pieces of paper that we throw around that make this university so great and successful. It is our students, our staff, our people. During your studies, you have all, in your own way, enriched, shaped and moulded the University of Manchester to the tremendous benefit of those who will follow in your footsteps. By reflecting on your experiences and telling us how we can make them even better, you've given us a blueprint to achieve and help us build our bold ambitions to be among the best in the world. Now, the university is changing and will continue to change for the better because of you. So just as today is as much about honouring you for this valuable contribution as it is for your success in your academic studies. Armed with your academic success, your skills and your breadth of experiences, there is every reason to be positive about your futures. Your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers all around the world recognise the value of the degree certificate that you will soon be holding in your hand. Obtaining your degree is a hugely important milestone and we celebrate your success. But this is just the beginning of your journey and your association with Manchester, not the end. It continues today, way beyond today's ceremony. Our career service continues to offer you help and support for three years and you continue to make use of our world-class libraries. And the Alumni Association will help you to remain in contact with the university linking you with a community of more than 350,000 Manchester graduates living and working across the globe. As alumni, you can help future students in so many ways, 
as ambassadors of the university, in student placements and employment, and directly in the development of the university, which is vital to our future. So we sincerely hope today will not be your last contact with the university, and remember that our doors will always be open to you. Well, this sight is resplendent before us. Uh, my name is Ken McPhail. I'm Deputy Head of Alliance Manchester Business School. On behalf of, uh, of the Business School, I would like to welcome you all to our graduation ceremony this afternoon. It really is indeed one of the highlights of the academic calendar, and I am sure that as you uh, process to receive your degree. It will be a memory that will stay with you for very many years to come. I'd like to extend a very special welcome to those of you who have joined us and are graduating from our China Manchester DBA programme. And in particular, I'd like to welcome our very esteemed colleagues from our partner school Natiai College of Economics and Management, Shanghai Jiao Tung University, Professor Ning Yu Tang and Emily Pan. This relationship between our two business schools and universities is indeed very important to us, and we are delighted that you and your colleagues are able to be with us today. Let me also extend a very warm welcome to those others who have traveled a very long way to be with us this afternoon. We have over 40 nationalities in our hall this afternoon. And that is testament to the truly international experience that our programs offer and that you have benefited from over the past few years. As alumni of this illustrious institution, this global reach is something that you will continue to benefit from as you begin this new chapter in your careers and in your relationship with the school and indeed with the broader university. Here at Alliance Manchester Business School, we do take enormous pride in your achievements and we're here today to celebrate with you your success to recognise your hard work and commitment, all of which has gone into getting you to graduation. But of course, we recognise that you haven't done this on your own. We recognise those who are here with you and the roles that they have played in supporting and encouraging you. So to all of you, to both sides of the aisle, a very well done. As a university, we have three goals. We're quite, quite distinct in having three goals. One goal around generating world-class research. A second goal around providing an outstanding learning experience for our students. And a third around ensuring that in everything we do, there is a commitment to social responsibility. Ambitious goals indeed, but I know those goals match your own. Goals that mean that you want to do well in the world, but also goals that mean that you want to do good in the world. Goals that mean that you want to have an impact, that you want to change things and to draw on the strap line of our social responsibility agenda, you want to make a difference. And I, for one, am looking really forward to witnessing the difference that you will make. We are a world-class business school. We do have world-class research. The university, we are top for business engagement in the UK, and this combined with our academic foresight 
means that we have our finger on the pulse of some of the most pressing business and societal issues. You remember last September, our Work and Equalities Institute was launched with the aim of understanding and responding to the huge disruptions in work, whether that is the impact of digital and artificial intelligence or the increasingly recognised need for more inclusive and fair work. That team have been particularly busy over the past few months, as I'm sure you will appreciate. Back in November, we celebrated 10 years since the opening of our Manchester Institute of Innovation Research, an institute which is globally recognised for its excellence in science and innovation policy and management studies. Amongst the very many issues that that group address include this massive shift in manufacturing, Industry 4.0, as well as also looking at how technology is disrupting service sectors, specifically in financial technology, fintech, or legal tech, and a whole raft of other things. Now, we're also quite unique as a business school in having a health services research centre, and that also continues to go from strength to strength, attracting significant amount of funding, and that has ambitious uh, ambitions, as you do, uh, to become a university-wide institute later this year. We're about to launch an innovative new international healthcare leadership MSc here at Manchester, focusing on global challenging challenges facing healthcare leaders. This programme will run across our international centres in Dubai and in Singapore, and is in collaboration with the Singapore Institute of management. Now, there's all of that work taking place on the global scale, but of course, more locally, we are extensively engaged in the devolution deal for Manchester, specifically around health and social care. The combination of health and tech is seen as a huge area for economic growth and potential in jobs, indeed, for tech startups and other such things in the north. So your degree will enable you to build a career anywhere in the world. But please also do not overlook the opportunities right here in Manchester, right on the doorstep of the university, to build an illustrious career in which you can do well and indeed do good. But over and above the disruptive impact of technology, changing demographics and political disruption, that comes when we do not have a business and economic system that delivers for everyone, the nature of the relationship between business and society is also fundamentally changing. So as a school, we've invested in the emerging business and human rights agenda. And in fact, last year, we're one of the first business schools to be invited to present at the United Nations International Forum on business and human rights in Geneva. And later this year, in September, we will be launching our business and human rights executive education program. So what's the point of all of this? The point of all of this is that I am extremely jealous. I'm extremely envious that you are embarking on your careers at such a pivot point in the history of business. And I'm extremely envious that you get the chance to impact on where business goes next. What a challenge and what an opportunity. The quality of the educational experience that you have uh, received is broadly recognized. Don't be in any doubt of that. We we're delighted to celebrate with you back in January that our Financial Times ranking for MBA programme is now fourth in the UK behind only Oxford, Cambridge and London Business School. We're 10th in Europe and 36th globally and remain also in the top 1% of triple accredited business schools across the world. You have the ability, you have the qualifications to make a significant impact on the world of business that lies before you. 
So I hope your experience so far has convinced you personally of the quality of research and educational experience, along with our commitment to social responsibility. However, during your studies, you will have seen lots of building work. Part of our ambitious plans to augment these qualities with truly world-class facilities. Just last July, we received the fantastic news that we, we have been awarded around about 10 million from the UK government to invest in state-of-the-art data visualization labs uh, within the uh, business school. And that will feed into a major strategic focus and understanding and shaping the relationship between business and work in this whole digital revolution. That, of course, follows the landmark donation by Lord Alliance of Manchester in 2015 when he became, when we became, Alliance Manchester Business School. And with this, as I said, in mind, you will see progress apace on the redevelopment of Alliance Manchester Business School, which is due to open later this year. Indeed, we welcomed our first delegates to our new Executive Education Centre, which opened just a few weeks ago. All of this is part of our billion pound campus master plan, and we look forward to welcoming you back in the future to see these amazing new facilities. So please come and visit. Come back and visit us. There will be lots of opportunities to drop in. We attract an amazing array of business leaders to come and speak at Alliance Manchester Business School. This year was no exception. We had, for example, Carolyn Fairburn, Director General of the Confederation of British Industry, along with Vince Cable and very, very many others. This year, we also launched our Scale Up Forum, bringing together some of the most dynamic and fastest growing businesses in the North. And next year, we will see many more events like that. So as I say, please do come and visit. I continue to believe that studying for a degree is one of the best times of your life. Not only because of the intellectual stimulation that it gives, but because of the different cultures and perspectives that you encounter, the friends that you make, the networks that you build, and the very many other activities that you engage in beyond just going to class. Just as important are your achievements in making a difference to local communities and societies. I know that as part of your projects, many of you have worked with voluntary organisations as consultants for your charge to enhance their efficiency and improve their services. Our MBAs have also undertaken fundraising for Born to Thrive and delivered a workshop for Tech First, just a few examples. The class of 2018 MBAs launched Manchester Matters, TED Talk style events, where MBAs share stories that matter from all over the world, from Peruvian cuisine, apparently on the one hand, to personal finance on the other. Over the last year, you've welcomed guest speakers, hosted networking events on campus, including an all-female alumni panel and innovation workshop. You saw victories at MBAT and several goals and injuries in the International Football Challenge. I have a note in my notes here to question whether I should say anything about the World Cup. If you're from France or Croatia, we really do hope that you do well at the weekend, but we won't pick a team, we won't pick a side. So you've played football, you've enjoyed cultural events, a ball, Christmas celebrations, bowling nights, treasure hunts, birthday celebrations, barbecues, and many more fun activities. You were also the first class to benefit from the Lord Alliance case competition, giving you rigorous preparation for case study interviews. Now, colleagues also tell me that across the MBA, we have also seen three weddings, three engagements, and one baby. Hopefully, that wasn't all the same two people. <laughs> across our undergraduate programmes, thanks go to Emanuela, Hope, Flavia, and the rest of the International Programmes Society 
who have helped to create an inclusive and exciting environment for all of our incoming exchange students while promoting internationalisation at Alliance MBS. I was delighted to hear that David Smith on our ITMB programme and Joyce Choi graduated from our international management programme and they were both nominated for university's undergraduate student of the year. Joyce also joined Eduardo Cifre as student coordinators and both of them have done an excellent job in promoting this, this scheme and developing ways of improving communications between mentors and mentors, mentees, organising a number of successful events this year. And indeed, some of you have taken over the school's Twitter and Instagram pages to share your experiences of being a student here in Manchester. And I know that many of you have taken part in open days and visits, answering numerable questions from our future students. So thank you for your contribution to our community. We are so very proud of those of you who are here today, in particular those who have had to battle against health issues or deal with care responsibilities in order to achieve your degrees. We really do think that displays such strength of character. But it's also important to reflect on the key role that our staff have played in your success. You have learned from world-class academics and industry experts and you have shared, who have shared their knowledge and helped you to nurture and to grow in your own understanding. You will know how dedicated they are and how eager they are to share their experience. And with that in mind, I would ask you to join me and congratulating Malcolm Smith, who you voted full-time MBA Academic of the Year, Ali Arak, who you also voted Undergraduate Academic of the Year, and Emily Marsden, who was voted Postgraduate Support Staff of the Year. Now, unfortunately, uh, Emily can't be with us. But can you please join with me in recognizing their significant achievements? Can I invite them to come? Can I invite them to come and take their awards? Malcolm. And Ali, is Ali with us? So I won't say any more, I know you're desperate to get onto the stage and shake Colette's hand. Just a final, well done. Please do keep in touch with us, come and visit us. And please do make a difference for Manchester Alliance Business School. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Business Administration, Stephen Kimmich. <laughs> Ricardo Ampudia Serrano. <laughs> Hebe Chehado. Sung Yun Ashley Chung. <laughs> Xiao Dong Feng. <laughs> Derek Kes Wakaroon. <laughs> Ma
Roy Lee. Michael Megu. Stella Marutsidu Damsa. Gerardo Quinones. Anya Stefan. Che Cheng Yu. And for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Muhammad Ali. And also being awarded the President's Doctoral Scholar Award, Tinashe Caston Rivrindi. Xu Yao Qian. Jessery Mercy Chikapa. Justina Anna Dabrowska. <laughs> Mohamed Yasser Davize. <laughs> Athanasia Daskalapalu. Cheryl Dowie. Francisca Drews. Song Yi Han. Yu Chia Ko. And also being awarded the President's Doctoral Scholar Award, Michael Korn. <laughs> Chow Lee. <laughs> Firaz Masri. Melissa Mete. <laughs> Rahima Sophia Muzulva. <laughs> Saeed Imran Sakib. Vildan Tasli. <laughs> Guillermo Vas Velasco Martinez. <laughs> Michael David Wilkinson. Hua Ying Ju. And for the degree of Master of Business Administration, Jorge Andreas Abate Ferris. <laughs> Ali Hussein Hassan Ali Abdul Hussein.
Esha Agarwal. Ahmed Fadi Adel Ashal Male. Keiko Odrin. Mohammed Bilal. Monica Leonor Mercedes Castro Zamudio. Abhishek Chakrabarti. Samuel Che Kyung Chua. Marcelo Curado Carrera. And also winning the Joint Best International Business Project, Ludmila Ivanova Crowther. Krishna Kant Dube. Ronald Jesa Edward. David Cardoso Arras. Daniela Isabel Franco Contreras. Catherine Alexandra Blackstone Gillez. Eduardo Pereira Rodriguez Gueva. And also winning Joint Best International Business Project, Divya Gupta. Hugo Ernesto Gutierrez Marquez. Rafael Gustavo Yara Padilla. And also with Joint Best International Business Project, Wawaran Convec Kakchul. <laughs> Rohit Kumra. <laughs> Temuraz Kushasvili. Incheon Lee. <laughs> Ye Ping Lee. <laughs> Lily Liu. <laughs> Yuan Chen Lo. Leonardo Lopez de Avesedo Ferreira. <laughs> Jeng Ma. <laughs> Gunel Mamadova. <laughs> Bogdan Marinescu. Alan John Joseph Martin. <laughs> Mohammed Adel Ibrahim Massoud. <laughs> Rinalini Govandankuti Menon. <laughs> Neil Ali Mir.
Zonna Trindle Norman. <laughs> Cheryl and Mamuag Otis. <laughs> Driss Oazani Taibi. Sahib Altaf Patel. <laughs> Sirirat Pruen Pan Yong Not. <laughs> Alexander Redmond. <laughs> Pimon Mal Rima Harrison. Carlos Alberto Rodriguez Sarana. Claudio Romani. Catherine Lorena Sachun Rivera. Igor Soldania. Sebastian Schroff Pinillos. <laughs> Daniel Edward Shuttleworth. <laughs> Jehezkiel Martua Siman Junta. Sua Park Suako. <laughs> and also with Joint Best International Business Project, Hui Xin To. <laughs> Lisette Alejandra Tukto Mechan. Alice Vega Sales Costa. <laughs> Guillermo Eric Vera Bazan. <laughs> and also with Joint Best International Business Project, Alfredo Rafael Villanueva Gonzalez. Javier Alejandro Villegas Castillo. <laughs> also with Joint Best International Business Project, Yao Xian Wang. And the final recipient of the Joint Best International Business Project, Wei Jian Yang. <laughs> Carlos Bernardo Yauri Leon. <laughs> Laura Jane Yeaman. Ji Jiang. <laughs> Yuming Jai. <laughs> Xiao Jiang. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Information Technology Management for Business with honours, Fatima Babagana Bunu. <laughs> Inez Dudek. <laughs> Nathan Farmer.
Mubarak Munyi. Wasif Ramtula. Ku Yu Jiang. And in Information Technology Management for Business Accounting, with honours, Lucy Denver. And in Information Technology Management for Business Marketing, with honours, Clarissa Ayago. <laughs> Nazia Farouk. Claire Greenhalge. <laughs> Dong Kyun Huang. <laughs> and in Information Technology Management for Business Strategy and Economics, with honours, Aniket Agawal. <laughs> Xiong Wan Cho. And in Information Technology Management for Business, Strategy and Economics with Industrial Experience with honours, Christina Valentinova Dimova. <laughs> and in Information Technology Management for Business with Industrial Experience with honours, Paul Allen. <laughs> Simon Ames. Megan Moore. <laughs> Thomas Kureshi Rewaj. <laughs> David Smith. <laughs> Rachel Emma Smith. Shonye Tan. <laughs> and in Information Technology Management for Business Marketing with Industrial Experience with Honours, Wenting Dai. <laughs> and in International Management with Honours, Inez Baptista Ochoa. Sebastian Benoit. <laughs> Ioana Becciano. <laughs> Eric Tobias Berquist. <laughs> Gusi Palmer Bicchieri. Matthew James Byrne. James Edward Calverley. Jamie Charles. Hoi Yi Joyce Choi Lam. Eduardo Cifre Sanchez. Samuel James Cook. Amy Day. So, Sean Chiao dos Santos Co.
Amin El Mutabli. Tom Garrett. Woo! Natalie Ghent. Woo! Saoirse Halder. Woo! Elliot Henderson. Vanessa Hill. Robert David Stephen Hopkins. Raluca Christina Inframescu. Lydia Adriana Elena Jura. Yuekin Lee. <laughs> Retrivia Fristi Nur Fadila. <laughs> Joachim Skari. <laughs> Kira Snyders. George Stevens. And in international management with American Business Studies with honours, Peter Allen. Thomas Begley. Adam Borgula. Anna Brooke. Georgina Bullen. James Jordan Chambers. Nishkan Ekanem. Eleanor Gibney. Sade Gill Anderson. Martin William Headley. Alexandra Elise. Liam Lay. <laughs> Flavia Marini. <laughs> Megan McCabe. <laughs> Catherine McLaughlin. Anna Victoria Porter. <laughs> Joshua Robson. <laughs> Jacob Scott. <laughs> Lily Shalmani. Hope Charlotte Smith. Tara Sowa.
Charles Wynne Stanley. Cabrina Mary Woolley. What a lively crew. On behalf of the university, I must again congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent achievements. I wish you every success and happiness in your careers and other pursuits in your lives. Be bold, aim high, turn your dreams into reality. I now declare the ceremony closed. Go enjoy. Woo!